What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your Shumalier, and even though we've been hearing great news over the last week or so about a vaccine, a preventative for the old coronavirus, the COVID-19, the fact remains is that we're probably still going to have to wear masks as a global community for at least the next six months. And as someone who has reviewed masks multiple times for different companies, Adidas, New Balance, Under Armour, etc., I thought I would review a new mask that has come into my possession. It has been on the website, it sold out, I signed up for an update and it came in and I'm anxious to unwrap it for you and give you a little bit more insight into not only what this mask looks like, but how it fits and how it works. I have heard the comments from many people where they say, all I did was do reviews about how the mask looks, so we're gonna do different things this time. Yes, we're gonna talk about how it looks, we're gonna talk about the lighter test, we're gonna do a fog test, and yes, I'm even going to do a rock and roll workout test. So today, we're gonna to talk about the ASICS Face Runners cover. Now on the website, you can find the ASICS Runners face cover for 40 US American dollars. This is at the higher end of what face masks tend to retail for, especially when you can get three blue or three black Adidas face masks for much cheaper. However, I haven't opened the bag yet, so I can't speak to the quality or whether this matches how much it costs. So we're gonna see. As you can see, it's in a sealed white plastic bag and it has one face cover in pea coat, which is basically a navy blue. Upon opening, you can see that it has the face mask and there's nothing else in the bag. Right off the bat, you can see that this has a different type of connector than what people are used to with their masks. With the disposable masks, usually get those two elastic bands that go over your ears, or you get the one at the top and the bottom that kind of goes like a catcher's face mask. This one has sort of a different one. It's like your glasses when you put those bands on your glasses so that they can hang off of your shoulder if you're at the beach or something like that. This has that technology to it, and it looks like all you do is squeeze and go up to tighten or go back to loosen. It also has these little plastic thingies here, which I assume are for your ears. I don't know, we'll see how that works. And as this mask does not have a space for a separate filter, it does tend to have sort of different qualities inside. They say that you should be able to drink water through the bottom of this mask. Is that correct? Is that what this mask is? Because it's definitely more see-through here at the bottom than it is any other part of the mask. When you look through the other side, I'm not sure if you can see it, yep. Definitely at the bottom, you can see how much see-through it is. And then in the middle section, not too much see-through. And on the sides, it's a little thicker on there. And then on the left-hand side, you can see the ASICS logo. Now, before we put the face mask on, I will say some of the reviews of this face cover mention a smell, a chemical smell, a glue smell. And while this doesn't smell any worse or any better than a typical shoe you get or any of the other face masks that I have tried on, if you are super sensitive to smells, I can see how maybe this would bother you, but quite honestly, I don't think this smells bad at all. I don't think it smells like chemical. I don't think it smells like glue, but I'm the kind of guy that opens up almost one to two new boxes of shoe every week, so I might be just numb to it. So why don't we go ahead and put this face mask on and we will show you what it looks like and how all of these little contraptions work. Now, as I mentioned, it does have these two little black pieces of plastic that as it turns out, go right behind your ears. Now, I'm sure you can't see them because they are right behind my ears, but let's see if I can pull it back so you can see. Can you see that? I don't know because I can't see. What about now? Let's try the other side. All right, so what it looks like that way. If I pull my ear, can you see it? Maybe. I think you probably can. It's right there. As for the back, Now, when I run, I run outside. I don't wear a mask, I socially distance. So I can't comment on how this mask would work when running, and I don't have anything to compare it to. I will say some of the reviews did mention the fact that they did not like this little 
<laughs> what do they call it, a rat tail? Bounces around when you run. Some people say just put it in your shirt. I don't know, I can't comment on that. But if you're one of those people that has an issue with things bouncing up and down or whatever, you might have to find a creative way to deal with it. But like I said, I don't know, can't speak from experience, and I'm not gonna wear this mask while I run. So now that we see what it looks like on face, let's go to the lighter test. Here I have my lighter, and as you can see, it works. And I just blew it out. It's legit, it's real. Let's put the mask back on so we can see how the lighter test works out. All right, here we go, mask is on. I can't feel it, so let's try it. As you can see, I don't think it really moved around a lot. I do have a ceiling fan on lightly, so don't let that influence how this may or may not have gone. I will say I did start to breathe louder and longer and harder as I went on. Nothing out of the ordinary for those people that might run or work out. Now, as I mentioned down here, it is a little bit wider with the perforations. So I wonder if I were to blow down, will it blow it out? Hard to tell, but I can feel when I blow out with my mouth, I do feel it down here. So when you blow out, it's not really coming out of your mouth. Some of it is coming out of this way. But as I blow hot air or if I breathe out, I don't feel like it comes out much other than just a little bit down here, no more than your normal mask. Now for the third test, putting on my glasses and seeing, well, do they fog up? And if so, how bad? Yep, they already fogged up. I'm taking a big breath and I'm blowing out very strongly through my mouth. As you can see, it, it they fog up. Now this is with my nose. Now I'm just gonna do normal. Yeah, weirdly enough, it fogs up from the top more than it fogs up from the bottom. Well, of course, and as I talk now, it does seem to fog up a lot. Do, 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 I'm kind of singing along and it's not so bad, but if I was gonna work out with these, yeah, these fog up. These fog up just as much, if not more, than some of the other masks I have worn, normal, your normal blue medical mask, or even the Adidas face mask. I won't say that this is any better or worse, but at least to my memory, this fogs up a little bit more than I think some of the other masks I have worn do. <sighs> but I think at this point, we've figured out that if you wear glasses and a mask, you're gonna have to do some tricks in order to get the mask and the glasses not to fog up. Now, unlike other masks, there is no metal clip in the nose bridge to hold it tighter around your nose. But I guess that's what really these strands are for so that it can tighten up behind your head and maybe give you a tighter fit. And for those of you that are curious, yes, you can move these little plastic things. I'm moving them right now so that you can get a, a wider or tighter fit behind your ears. I tend to have smaller ears, I guess. So I would probably tighten it up a little bit, but you can also keep this part connected behind your head and have the mask hang on your ears by utilizing this thing. Now it's off, but it's still around my ears. And now for the fourth test, we are gonna to go to the future where I'm gonna wear this mask where I do my functional fitness. It's light weight lifting. It's a little bit of cardio. It's a little bit of core ab work, not heavy lifting by any stretch. But when I wear my Adidas masks to the gym with my filter, properly social distance, basically near closing when there's no one else there, I do get a little fogging up. I do take my glasses off when I work out, but I never remove my mask during the entire workout session. And I haven't had any issues with carbon dioxide poisoning or anything else like that. Honestly, don't really notice it other than the fact that my face gets a little bit sweaty. So we're gonna go to the future and future me is going to tell you how this mask worked later tonight at the gym. You're gonna watch this tomorrow. But anyway, here we go. Okay, I just got back from the gym. So here's what I thought about this Asics Runner face cover. Number one, I think this is my favorite mask to wear when I go work out at the gym. Now remember, I've only been wearing the Adidas masks because I can put a filter in it 
I didn't really like the Under Armour mask because I felt it was too small, too tight for my face, and I really wasn't down on the New Balance mask at all. So when it comes to this mask, I think that it stays on my head a lot better and doesn't seem to be too tight once you figure out your correct little measurements around your neck and around your back. I will say that there are a few caveats. Number one, I did find that the mask wanted to rise up more to my, closer to my eyes when I worked out. I'm not sure if that was based on the uh, activities that I was doing or the workouts that I was doing, but I wasn't like I was hanging upside down and gravity was pushing it up. I think maybe it just had to do with adjusting it around my ears. Uh, the second thing is that yes, this rat tail dovetail does get in the way, especially if you're doing something where you put the bar on the back for like squats. So you have to make sure like a ponytail, you move it out of the way or when you're lying on your back to do bench press or something, you have to make sure you're not sitting on it so that you don't pull yourself back. But I will say, that when I finish my workouts with the Adidas masks with the filter, it does tend to be a little, well, moist, warm because of the sweat, because of the heavy breathing, etc. And this one was pretty much dry as a bone with the exception of the sweat that would have got on the outside of it. But I found that this mask held up really, really well. I didn't feel out of breath. I certainly didn't feel like my face was hot. It does get a little hot when I wear the Adidas mask, but I thought this one breathed really well. And I'm hearing that that's why people like these A6 masks is because of how well they breathe and cool and whatnot. I think it does have to do with this little vent on the bottom, allowing cool air in, allowing air out, etc. while still, I'm hoping, keeping you safe. So I will say, that this is my favorite mask to wear and I'm probably gonna wear this every time I go to the gym now. They say, of course, to wash your masks after every use. So I will hand wash this. I basically run it through hot water, put a little soap, let it hand dry, etc. So yeah, I think this is the mask for me and I highly recommend y'all try it out, especially if you go to the gym or do exercises. To me, I find that this mask breathes the best, isn't as hot or stuffy as some of the other masks. And as you would have seen in the past, it passes all the major uh, guidelines that one wants for a mask. So it's me from the future, sending it back to past Daniel. And we're back from the future. So there you have it. I showed you what this mask looked like. I did the lighter test. I did a fog test. And hopefully I gave you some solid information about how this mask worked for me while I was doing some functional fitness, weightlifting, core, cardio, body workout earlier today. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have tried this ASICS runner face cover. Do you have other favorites in mind? And is $40 just a lot to pay for, well, a face mask? Especially when you get a whole box for, I don't know what a box goes for, what, $10 or something, $100? I'm not sure. I bought a bunch of boxes a long time ago and I have tons of masks because not only do I review them, but I wear them. Let us know in the comment section down below. And to all of you out there, wherever you are, Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill to the next episode.